The surface temperatures in the Arctic increase much faster than the global average, a phenomenon known as Arctic amplification. The most significant increase occurs in the winter. The Arctic warming is related to the imbalance of energy budget at the ground and the top of the atmosphere, sea ice, albedo feedback, lapse rate feedback, temperature inversion, enhanced greenhouse effect. The sun provides important energy to the atmospheric gases, liquids and particles, and initiates their changes in the three phases through chemical and photochemical reactions. Therefore, solar radiation transfers in and interacts with the atmospheric gases, liquids, and particles. These physical and chemical processes interact with the atmospheric movement through short and long-wave radiation in different ways. So, if we want to further the understanding of regional climate and climate change in the Arctic, the attenuation in the atmosphere and reflections at the ground and the top of the atmosphere are necessary to be investigated. To investigate the sun, atmosphere, earth system, the following messages are required. Variations of solar radiation at the surface and the top of the atmosphere, the loss of solar radiation in the atmosphere, the albedos at the surface and the top of the atmosphere, the interactions between solar radiation and meteorological variables. Therefore, an empirical model of global solar irradiance under all sky conditions was developed by using solar radiation and meteorological parameters at Sodankala. Now, we will discuss about how to formulate the model. Absorption, total absorption and use of global solar radiation by gases, liquids and particles is described as the following equation. Scattering, total scattering of global solar radiation by gases, liquids and particles is expressed as the following equation. In total, an empirical model of global solar irradiance at a horizontal plane was applied in the Arctic for all sky conditions. We can use the EMGSI to calculate the hourly global irradiance for Sodankala during January 1, 2000 to December 31, 2018. The calculated and observed monthly global irradiance, diffuse irradiance, and the ratio of diffuse horizontal solar irradiance and hourly global solar are shown in figure. The calculated and observed hourly global solar irradiance varied similarly, and calculated values were larger than the observed by 18.11% for the average in 2000 to 2018. It proved that the EMGSI represents the global irradiance and its relationships with absorbing and scattering processes at relative clean atmospheric conditions. The global solar irradiance losses caused by absorbing and scattering gases, liquids and particles can be calculated by EMGSI as well. For the annual losses of global solar irradiance during 2000 to 2018, global solar irradiance losses caused by absorbing gases, liquids and particles decreased by 0.02% per year, associating with the increase of the water vapor pressure by 0.43%. Global solar irradiance losses caused by scattering gases, liquids and particles increased by 0.72% per year, associating with the increase of the ratio of diffuse horizontal solar irradiance and hourly global solar irradiance by 1.73%, annual total loss increased by 0.24% per year. The contributions of monthly mean absorbing and scattering losses to monthly mean total loss were 63.33% and 36.67%. During April, September in 2000 to 2018, the observed global solar irradiance also decreased by 0.002%. Observed diffuse irradiance increased by 0.11%. Air temperature increased by 0.05%. Relative humidity increased 0.02% for monthly average. The calculated monthly mean global irradiance by EMGSI was larger than the observed by 17.64%, associating with low the ratio of hourly global and diffuse horizontal solar irradiance and water vapor pressure. The calculated monthly mean global irradiance decreased by 0.07%, corresponding to very little decrease of observed hourly global solar irradiance. The calculated annual global solar irradiance decreased by 0.8%, and the observed diffuse irradiance increased by 1.37% per year respectively. 
Both were associated with the increases of the ratio of hourly global and diffuse horizontal solar irradiance by 1.55% and water vapor by 0.28% per year. Libidos at the top of the atmosphere and the surface are key factors influencing the energy balance, weather, and climate. The annual albedos averaged at the top of the atmosphere were calculated by using the up solar irradiance divided by down solar irradiance and the coefficients in equation. The albedo at the surface was calculated by using the following equation. The calculated and satellite retrieved annual surface albedos varied similarly with relative bias of 20% and absolute error of 0.05 for the four-year average. The calculated and satellite retrieved annual albedos at the top of the atmosphere and the surface showed decreasing tendencies during four years. Both the calculated and satellite retrieved albedos showed the similar characteristics. The albedos at the top of the atmosphere were larger than the surface. The change of global solar radiation at the ground in 2000 to 2018 was associated with absorption and scattering caused by all kinds of gases, liquids and particles in the atmosphere, including gases, water vapor, aerosols, clouds, the reflection by the Earth atmosphere system at the top of the atmosphere. All these factors contribute the solar dimming and or brightening, as well as climate change. During 2000 to 2018, the annual global solar radiation decreased and diffuse radiation increased. They were associated with the increases of the atmospheric substances and water vapor. More energy was lost in the atmosphere by absorption. Simulated and satellite-based annual albedos decreased at the top of the atmosphere. Annual air temperature increased by 0.07 degrees centigrade. EMGSI was developed to study the solar radiation. The calculated hourly global solar irradiance by EMGSI was in agreement with the observed at the ground and the top of the atmosphere. Using EMGSI, the albedos at the top of the atmosphere and the surface were calculated, and they are similar to satellite retrieved values. EMGSI was applied to calculate the global solar irradiance at the ground and its attenuation in the atmosphere. The results showed monthly and interannual variations. In conclusion, EMGSI were beneficial for us to understand the interactions between solar radiation and gases, liquids and particles, atmospheric movement, regional climate and climate change.